When Canada evaluates fighter jets for long-term national security, one question stands out. Which aircraft is not just powerful, but actually safer, more reliable, and better suited for Canada's unique geography? And surprisingly, the answer is not an American jet like the F-35 or F-18. It is Sweden's Gripen. The Gripen is not just a fighter jet. It is a survival machine designed specifically for harsh climates, remote operations, and independent control without relying on foreign systems. This gives Canada a level of safety that American jets simply cannot offer. The first and most important point is weather and environment. Canada's environment is almost identical to Sweden's. Freezing winters, icy runways, scattered population centers, and massive landmass. The Gripen was literally engineered to dominate in these conditions. It can take off from short icy damaged or improvised runways. It can even operate from regular highways something no U.S. jet can safely do on a consistent basis. This means that even if Canada's main air bases are attacked or shut down due to weather, Grepen can continue flying from remote forest roads and northern strips. That alone makes it safer. Another major safety factor is maintenance independence. U.S. jets like the F-35 require huge maintenance facilities, expensive equipment, and constant support from U.S. contractors. If the U.S. decides to delay parts or restrict software updates, the jet becomes limited. This creates dependency, and dependency is not safety. Gripen, on the other hand, was built to be maintained by small ground teams with minimal equipment. Even conscript mechanics in Sweden can service it in one to two hours. For Canada, this means Gripen operations stay running, even in remote territories like Nunavut, Yukon, and the Arctic region. The third factor is cost of operation. This isn't about saving money. It's about safety through sustainability. A jet that is too expensive to fly often ends up grounded. The F-35 costs so much per hour that Canada would be forced to limit flight hours reduce patrols, and cut training. And a jet that isn't flying regularly becomes unsafe for pilots. Griffin solves this by being one of the world's cheapest 4.5 Gen fighters to operate. Canada could double its training hours and still spend less than it would on American jets. More flight time means safer pilots, safer operations, and faster reactions to threats in the Arctic. And finally, Gripen gives Canada full sovereignty, meaning full control. American jets come with restrictions. The US can monitor software, block upgrades, or limit weapon integration. Canada cannot independently modify an F-35 without US approval. This reduces national safety but Grapen is designed for full user freedom. Canada could integrate its own weapons, its own data links, and its own upgrades. No foreign lock, no hidden software restrictions, no backdoor controls. True independence equals true safety. All of this combined makes the Swedish Grapen not just a fighter jet, but the safest long-term choice for Canada built for the climate, built for freedom, and built for reliable operations, even in worst case scenarios. Another reason Gripen is safer for Canada than any American jet is its ability to operate in complete isolation. If global tensions rise and supply chains break down, US jets immediately face a critical risk. They depend heavily on US made components, US servers, and US software keys. Without constant American support, many systems cannot operate at full capacity. Gripen was intentionally designed to avoid that vulnerability. Sweden built it under the philosophy of fight alone if necessary. This makes it the perfect match for Canada, a nation that must defend vast Arctic territories without depending on foreign approval.
Gripen's electronic warfare system is another area where safety is unmatched. The F-35 is stealthy, but its stealth is not permanent. Once detected or tracked, it becomes vulnerable. Gripen, however, uses a different strategy. Dynamic electronic warfare. Its onboard EW suite acts almost like an invisible shield that constantly changes frequencies, jams enemy radars, and blinds incoming missiles. Think of it as a fighter jet that adapts in real time to threats. For Canada, which faces unpredictable Russian aircraft and Arctic intrusions, this adaptive defense is far safer than relying on stealth alone. Then there is the question of crash survivability and reliability. Gripen has one of the best safety records of any modern fighter. It is built to remain stable, even in engine loss scenarios, and its flight systems are known for predictable, pilot-friendly behavior. U.S. jets, especially the F-35, have a long list of grounding orders, software failures, engine overheating issues, and oxygen system problems that have directly endangered pilots. Reliability directly impacts safety, and Gripen's engineering philosophy focuses on stability, simplicity, and predictability, qualities that actually keep pilots alive in emergencies. Training safety is another major consideration. Gripen comes with one of the world's most advanced simulation ecosystems, allowing pilots to train realistically without risking expensive flight hours or aircraft wear. U.S. jets rely heavily on live flight training because their simulators do not replicate real combat behavior with the same depth or flexibility. For Canada, Gripen's advanced simulation system means fewer costly risks during training and more consistent readiness for real missions. Also, the Gripen is designed with battlefield repairability. If it takes damage, its modular design allows parts to be replaced quickly, even in remote environments. American jets often require specialized equipment, classified components, or return to factory repairs, which means downtime and downtime is dangerous in a real conflict. Gripen's rapid repair capability ensures that Canada's fleet stays operational under pressure. Finally, interoperability must be addressed. Many assume American jets automatically offer better NATO integration. In reality, Gripen was built from day one to integrate with NATO networks, data links, weapons, and communication systems. And unlike U.S. jets, it does so without locking the user into one supplier's ecosystem. Canada could mix European weapons, domestic upgrades, or U.S. systems without asking for permission, which again increases sovereignty and long-term safety. These combined factors, independence, survivability, lower maintenance risk, superior electronic protection, and higher reliability, make Gripen a safer long-term investment for Canada compared to any American fighter jet. Gripen's safety advantage for Canada becomes even clearer when we consider strategic vulnerability. If Canada chooses an American jet like the F-35, its entire air defense capability becomes entangled with U.S. foreign policy. If political tensions arise, or if the U.S. restricts certain weapons or software updates, Canada's Air Force could be partially crippled. This is not hypothetical. Many countries using American jets have faced temporary grounding due to delayed U.S. approvals. That risk alone makes the F-35 a potential liability. Gripen eliminates this vulnerability entirely by giving Canada full control of its aircraft, software, weapons, and upgrades. Another major safety advantage is operating footprint. Canada's geography is enormous, one of the largest in the world. The F-35 cannot be effectively deployed in remote northern bases without massive support. It needs specialized climate-controlled hangars and extremely sensitive maintenance requirements. In contrast, 
Greipen can operate from small, remote locations with minimal infrastructure. It was designed to be fueled, armed, and relaunched in 10 minutes by a tiny ground crew. This makes Canada far safer in the event of a sudden Arctic intrusion or emergency scramble situation. Then there is pilot safety. Gripen's cockpit ergonomics and flight control logic are built around the principle of reducing pilot workload. Everything from its displays to its control response is designed to give pilots maximum situational awareness with minimal stress. In dangerous northern conditions, low visibility, freezing clouds, polar night, these design choices dramatically increase safety. The F-35, by contrast, has a more complex sensor fusion system that can overload pilots in certain scenarios. Safety is not just about the aircraft. It's about how the pilot interacts with it. Greppen's engine is another example where safety meets practicality. Its single-engine design might appear risky at first glance, but Greipen's engine reliability record is among the best in its class. The jet is engineered to maintain control even if thrust is temporarily lost, giving pilots more time to recover compared to heavier American jets. In Arctic patrol missions, where distance between bases is huge, this reliability is essential. Surveillance and response safety also favor Gripen. Canada must constantly monitor a vast airspace where Russian aircraft frequently test boundaries. The Gripen sensor suite, including its powerful AESA radar and infrared search and track system, gives pilots early detection advantages. It can spot threats without revealing its own position reducing the risk of being targeted first. Combined with its superior electronic warfare, Gripen becomes a harder jet to lock onto, track, or shoot down, directly increasing pilot and mission safety. Finally, Canada must consider long-term security. An aircraft that is safe today, but unsustainable tomorrow, becomes a threat within itself. If maintenance becomes too costly, or supply chains become too dependent on another country's politics, national safety declines. Greppen's long-term affordability, modular upgrade capability, and independence ensure Canada can maintain a strong air force for decades without being trapped in debt or dependency. In the end, Greppen is safer for Canada, not because it is cheaper or simpler, but because it is smarter. It fits the climate, the geography, the political reality, and the long-term security needs of the country. It gives Canada reliable Arctic coverage, full sovereignty, lower risk, and higher operational safety than any American jet today. For a nation that values independence and resilience, the Swedish Gripen is not just a fighter jet. It is the safest strategic choice for Canada's future.